Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in American Truck Simulator once again to be trying a little bit of owner operator. We are here at the Walmart in Seattle. We're gonna be heading up to FedEx in Olympia. We've got some used packaging to bring up there, cleaning out the stocks after, of course, some of the major holidays rolling on through before we get ready for St. Patrick's Day. We're driving our Mac Anthem, the one that we actually had created <clears throat> uh, in pretty much the last build series. That's what we're going to be driving. Uh, I just want to drive around Washington a little bit and take in some of the actual pieces of the maps that are already available here in American Truck Simulator with all the DLC. And then eventually we're going to be heading down south to pick ourselves up. Are we picking up an international? I can't even remember. The newest truck that's not the freight shaker. Let's climb ourselves on in. Set it up. I'm going to just turn on my running lights because it makes me feel good. Roll down the windows because it sounds like it's going to be a beautiful day here. And I know that's going to be a little bit loud, but I do not care. Put her in drive. Of course, she is an automatic. Not pulling too much weight today, so I'm not super worried about anything. Let's pull ourselves out here. Missing that feather light trailer that's sitting there. That's the thing that I hate. One of these mods just keeps on making them spawn everywhere. We just need it for our purposes. Are you pulling in to Walmart while I'm attempting to pull out in the delivery only? What are you doing? Well, I didn't like any of that. All right, let's get ourselves out here on the road. Hope you guys are having a good day. I know that I am. It's Wednesday. I had my last Zoom class for this modular. We're doing a modular system. We're doing two mods per uh, semester. Man, I really wish me looking out this door wasn't me just staring into that mirror. Pull ourselves out here. Gonna remove that little alien. Not feeling it anymore. Had it before I could get my Pac-Man back up there, but... Happy as could be. I technically want to be in the left lane, but let's speed it up here a little bit in the right. Um, there's eventually going to be a couple different series on the channel. We're going to have the owner-operator, such as we're doing now. We're actually going to have a grain business out in Fort Collins. I do believe it's out in Colorado? New Mexico, maybe? Couldn't even tell you at this point. Um, there's just so many places. I love the grain runs that are out there, out to the farms. Had a pretty good system going there. Going to get a, probably a different Mac Anthem for out there, because I really do like this truck. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to get back to logging as well. Definitely not going to be the first off the line. <laughs> we have a smaller engine in here, which I'm perfectly fine with. That's that uh, realism, and I love to be able to be pulling cargo around. So if anybody watches NASCAR style, those uh, trailers are empty. So I've got a lot more power than what I really should have. Right, let's pull up a little more in line. Let's just kill the fuel economy completely here. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. Always love to be able to get in trucks and it's my chance to sit down here and talk with you and talk about what's new. Well, what is new in my world? Well, like I said, this the uh, mod is coming to the end for me teaching. We just finished filming the show. It's being uh, getting captions put on it right now. It should be done uh, in a couple days, and then it gets uploaded on the Broadway Direct, and then it gets to be able to be viewed by anybody and everybody out there for the low, low price of $2.95. <laughs> uh, that's not something we make a profit off of. We're making no profit here. That's just the service fee on the website. I don't teach next module, and there is not a show that I have any responsibilities for. So you're going to be seeing a lot more videos, a.k.a. they will be still every day, but I at least have the ability to bulk up my reservoir, as it were. Um, I like to do that. There's parts of me that doesn't because I don't uh, I don't get any feedback before I continue a series, so I can be putting out stuff that nobody's enjoying whatsoever. Um, so that is the downfall that comes with this. Uh, but because of the busy, hectic life that I have with the job, the misses, the dogs, the horses, and everything in between, especially since race season is coming up, I just don't have as much time to be able to make you a video every single day because, again, this is just as a hobby. This is not what I do for work, if you have to be brand new here on the channel. Still a grand old time, and I'm very happy doing it. I'm also happy just to get into regular dry vanning again. Now, hopefully, since I haven't been away for too long, hopefully it's still... Uh, I still got it. 
Uh, we still will have company driving uh, for Walmart. Uh, this is actually a new American Truck Sim file. It has to be updated every once in a while. Because once in a while there will be a mod in it that gets taken off the workshop. It gets taken off the workshop and it's still embedded in the game. You can't get it off. Yada yada. You gonna make me go? Cool, we can bypass. We're gonna sw swipe over here anyways. Let this guy have some room to get on to the highway. Maybe he'll have to get called in, but we get to bypass it, which is awesome. But yeah, so I'm, I'm excited that I get to get back up on it. We did fall short for a while. We actually went a couple months without a video, and I'm glad that we still had support when we came back. And we're slowly starting to get ourselves back into the rhythm, back into the world of getting all these videos for you guys and having a good time with it. Bunch of new games on the way. Also very excited about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't know what he was doing. All of a sudden he's sliding and throwing lanes here. Putting on the flashers. Slamming on the brakes. You guys gotta put a like a better sign out back or something. Looks like we've got some sort of accident over there on the road. I can't even see what it is. Hopefully we're going to be able to get right back on the highway. If not, it's going to be real interesting to find a detour. It looks like we're going to let us back on so we'll be able to peek at what's going on here. We'll go straight across. Yeah, so that was a scary uh, scary piece. I was not ready for that. Beautiful detailed maps. Nobody behind me, so let's see. Can we, can we peek? I see life flight, so that's never good. I did not do a pre trip before we left, so whoops on that one. That's not going to show up on our log. I uh, hope everybody's going to be okay. Life flight's obviously never a good sign, but hopefully they're going to have a speedy recovery. I'm going to slide in over here. So, yeah, that's kind of what's going on in the professional life here on YouTube. Again, we just. We surpassed 500 subscribers not that long ago. I can't believe it. I can't wait till we get to 1,000 because then I can do more engaging things for you guys. Plus, everything makes a little bit of money. Now, I'm going to be 100% transparent with you guys. Right now, with the views we get, we would get like 25 bucks a month. But hey, guess what? That would pay for a new game, which is the, the hope here. If we ever make profit off of this, I want it to go right back into the channel. Because games get expensive, and, and there's certain games like Total Accurate Battle Simulator, which I think was like 12 bucks when I bought it. I was able to make, I think, four episodes out of it. I got bored with it. And that's what's going to happen, and I don't want to be spending money for things that I'm not going to play on my own in the future. So, also, if that video's not out, whoops. <laughs> we'll keep that one just, just between us. Uh, the other thing that's new this year, I'm having a lot of fun doing, a lot of stress, but a lot of fun, is we are doing an AI season with iRacing, with the Camping World Truck Series. Uh, we actually race at Homestead tonight. That's race number three for us. We won the first race at Daytona just by luck, and we were the only truck without damage, and I hate that I did not get that full replay because it was a crazy, crazy race. Oh, God, a roundabout. Luckily, we're going to get right out of it anyways. Yeah, let's try to truck on out. Through here, right off the exit. Looks like FedEx, yeah, FedEx is going to be right up here. It was going to be a quick run. I knew that it was going to be. Not sorry on that whatsoever. We do get to start our journey, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. Where do you want it, guys? Okay, no gate, no telling me, so I'm just going to go find an open dock here. Where do you want it? Right there. Okay, so we got some pup trailers here anyway, so... That's fine. Got plenty of room here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing you on over here. Is the guy just massaging the wall? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, 
flashers are already going. I'm gonna have to use the mouse now. I hate that because again, it's so jittery. But I want to be able to quick look. Give myself plenty of rope. Throw a head out the trap, the the window here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably do this twice because again, this wall here. We'll back it up and then we'll get it straightened back out. I did have somebody mention like, well, why didn't you just use the mirrors? Because I'm not that good. Watch the front end. That looks good enough. Shift, thank you. Shift in reverse. Keep on sliding her back. It's a big bay anyway, so it's not like I'm super worried about being perfect. And let's just slide her in, guide her in. Kick it sideways. Sorry if you can hear the wheel in the background. I had to change our audio setup once again, and I just... I'm not happy with it again. That's going to do it, but I'd like to back right up to the dock if possible. Nah, it's not going to let me. I like it when you can actually go up against the bumpers, but there we go. Nope. Back in the cab. Flashers off. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Wrong buttons. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Step on out. Engine off. Let's unload her before 10 a.m. Looking good. 55 miles only took two hours and 58 minutes. Looking good. Now let's see what we got here. Okay. I'm going to look at something really quick and I'll be right back with you. All right. This is what we're going to go with. I just wanted to see where uh, the... Uh, come on, what am I talking about here? What am I talking about? Oh my gosh, where did I just go? Where did I just come from? Cotton Eye Joe, my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm having such a... Okay, there we go. We're going to go get a Western Star truck for logging. And it's available in Idaho and Lewistown, <laughs> which is here. We're going to be going to Kennewick with some home accessories to Walmart. So what we're going to do... Of course, I, I changed a couple things in this. We're going to have to... Climb back in the truck and back ourselves back in here. Just very not excited about it. And uh, that'll be for next episode. But for this one, that is going to do it. If you guys enjoy, we do try to put a video out here on the channel every day. We're going to continue our line of work here. And start buying trucks along the way to do a couple of the branch off series in the future. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.